this is what they gave us for the trip here the Toyota Tacoma very temporary temporary setup here it also shows how um with newer vehicles it would be hard to do this it could be done with some patience but um temporary CB antenna Cobra cheap fail for the antenna so this is the setup here the Walmart multi-port thing here this is better than nothing these are not permanent setups this could easily be bumped and turned up on the radios because the cigarette plugs don't fit all the way in. We got this here. I got to program in the Paxton repeater from Massachusetts in here. I'll do that in a minute. And we know it works. Well, of course, now we're not talking. And I, I'm in West Virginia right now at the West Virginia here rest stop. Well, I'm going to edit down this video. I'm going to explain again here real quick. So, <clears throat> which is about at five at most radios. It's a real nice feature to have when the band isn't open or somebody like that. Oh, this is last year. probably at about maybe 10 or so if you compare it with um, an A-tone radio. Now the RF gain allows us to kind of fine tune. Yeah, that's a, that's a after a I don't know who this guy is. I've been hearing him off and on since Massachusetts, I think. Um, this other guy here. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so if RF gain, we can kind of adjust just a little bit the sensitivity more kind of like a squelch would be and i usually keep mine pretend this volume button is rf gain this is rf gain open i keep mine about there and usually usually that and the squelch set to maybe 10 or on an any tone radio or for your reference probably about a little bit at the half mark which would be right about here or better yet, we might get blast of noise though. Right about there, we'll say. Um, and that works pretty good for just like monitoring 19. Now, some people have mentioned, well, you should just use FM. Well, the purpose of this mobile rental car setup here is to um, basically go truck to truck and keep up what's going on on the roads and everything. And your mileage may vary on what what truckers are talking and what truckers aren't. Some have CB, some don't. Some companies don't allow some CB, some don't. And just because there's a CB antennas on the truck that came from the factory like that, doesn't necessarily mean they have the CB. Some people turn off their radio because of mud duck or other noise. Um, it, it varies. So you never know who you're going to hear on the other end if you want to hail out. You know, example, you'd be like... Uh, all right, so there's this truck over here. I'm gonna to try to zoom in. Of course, the sun's in the way. You could go, um, hey, uh, CMA, you got it on? And, um, oh yeah, I got it on. Hey, listen, uh, your tail light's out there. Well, you know, depends though. It's not what it was in the mid 90s, but CB is still a, v a valuable tool on a, on a road trip, it's on 19, it really is. Um, especially on a road like 81, where there's a lot of trucking going on. Any of those major, major north, south, east, west um, freeways or highways, you're going to have a lot more trucking activity, especially with all the distribution centers and warehouses. Anyhow, going to get back on the road here. I was going to say get back to the bench, but, um, you know, that's kind of stupid.